what is up, folks? So I um, stop that real quick. I don't know why that kept going. So this is uh, this is a game called Bright Future, or I'm sorry, Bright Memory. Uh, it was a game that was featured on the Xbox One uh, Series X uh, reveal this past week or whatever. And immediately when I saw the UI on the game, like it was kind of one of those. Uh, kind of one of those reveals that they did where it just kind of they don't tell you what the game is they're just kind of like world premiere and then the game plays or whatever immediately when I saw the HUD on the gun I knew it was this game and I thought that's crazy that game just came out of early access so it's it it's a weird thing for them to have featured it so prominently on an Xbox uh, on a Microsoft stream like that which I thought was kind of crazy felt kind of cool because it's like holy crap you know you've kind of played a game that's coming to the series x uh which seems pretty cool however it's with a very huge caveat and that is this game looks the part and i can see why microsoft might have been convinced by that one dude from china it's one dude from china who made this game uh which I can make an obvious joke of how that's kind of like fake news, but um, it's possible. It's totally possible. One person can make a game like this, especially in Unreal Engine. Um, so here's the thing. Um, I've already played through this. Uh, I played through basically like the first playthrough. I guess you can see right there. It says current, current version, Bright Memory Episode 1, second run. I'm about to do a second run. Um, I seriously doubt there's going to be much that changes. I'm not 100% sure because I haven't done a second run. I've just done this first run. Um, so obviously you can catch there those tiny little glimpses of just like the camera changing and it conveniently seems to show uh, the skirt fly up. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> the game heavily revolves around this character and obviously this dude's super proud of his modeling. Um, because the game is constantly doing shots like this uh, where it just kind of zooms in on parts of her where it's kind of supposed to be looking at an enemy in a sense and it just kind of grabs like a obvious yeah just yeah shots like this uh, I have nothing against that I you know think that's cool whatever uh, you know it's a good character model whatever um, However, so the first thing that immediately bothers me about this, uh, again, the game looks fantastic. It's great. It's a, it's apparently a really good uh, like poster child for ray tracing, which I can probably test here in a sec. Um, all I did was test the DirectX 11 version, so I just kind of started the game because uh, I just wanted to jump in and check out the gameplay. So here's the interesting part about that. Uh, the developer on Xbox Wire, which is like the, the Xbox website where you know uh, developers get to talk about their game or whatever uh, they basically interviewed the the developer uh, whose name is Zeng Zeng Jian Cheng um, the developer it says is uh, playism I think that's actually the publisher the developer is FYQD I think which is what the uh, the developer calls the studio so anyway if you kind of want to look up the uh, the story on Xbox Wire, you obviously you can just type in uh, Bright Memory Infinite, which is the version of the game coming to Xbox Series X. But what caught me was when I read that article, there was a, there was a sentence in the um, article there. Obviously, it's written by the developer, so it's from his point of view. He gets to talk about the game, kind of like how I did when I announced a Dual Hand Disaster on the PlayStation blog. Uh, Xbox does something similar. So anyway, um, obviously with the Xbox Series X, right there, he, they're trying to push the whole 4K and all the new features of the game which no doubt this game is going to be one to show that and this is why I bring up this uh, sentence he says the quality of the graphics of Bright Memory Infinite for the Xbox Series X is the aspect I focused on most uh, throughout the game's development and uh, in order to truly harness and show off the abilities of the next gen system that is without a doubt what the purpose of this game is. It looks fantastic, it plays terribly. Uh, I don't know how it's gotten really good reviews on um, Steam. It just, it. so obviously, I guess if you play keyboard and mouse, maybe, um, but when you're playing with a gamepad, um, and I'll, you know, give them benefit of the doubt, just came out of early access, whatever. 
but it just it it's it's obviously not tailored for a controller because the um, there's an article where Cliffy B of uh, used to be at Epic, uh, obviously now he's doing his own thing, but uh, Cliffy B basically um, did an interview quite a while ago, and it's something that stuck with me for a while, which was the idea of um, when you're making a video game and you're making a first-person shooter over anything. There's a very there's kind of like a science to the um, the sticks, specifically the stick where you aim, uh, which is typically the right stick, right? Uh, there's like um, like some kind of um, like the I don't remember what the word was, but it's just kind of like the stickiness of uh, it, w which is something that Call of Duty does really well when you're when you're aiming with the right stick. It just it feels right, like they. They got the very. They got a balance between uh, the X and Y axis, where um, you know there's kind of like a dead zone on the the right stick usually, and uh, developers who know what they're doing can kind of make up for that. It's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of stayed away from making a game where you you have to aim and do things like that because I knew that would kind of be a problem. Let alone the the Xbox controller tends to have an odd situation with its sticks as well. Um, but anyway, uh, I think it was like an adhesion or I, I forgot what the word he used. Anyway, the cool thing was, uh, he described the way that worked and it just made sense. And it's something that I think this game lacks massively. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just like when you're aiming, um, on, on a controller, I had to put the sensitivity, watch, I guess I could go here. I had to bring the sensitivity pretty low and even this is really 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 sluggish so again I know this is early I know this isn't the Xbox Series X version the guy has plenty of time to go through it and fix a lot of stuff at the same time though here's the thing this particular version of the game that just came out of early access is technically quote-unquote episode one which is what he seems to call this it's only an hour long so there and it if it really is just one dude working on this game, again, I don't doubt that. It, it's definitely possible, uh, possible uh, for obvious reasons, right? Um, it's done in Unreal Engine, so yeah, definitely possible. Um, my my thing about that is this is supposed to be a launch game, if I'm not mistaken, for the for the Xbox Series X. And since he seemed to be focusing, like I said, that that first sentence in that or that sentence in the Xbox Wire article. Focusing on the graphics more than anything, I really hope he either gets a team to help him with it if he does plan on releasing by launch, because there is no way. And I have, I, I'm gonna be optimistic though. I hope it works out, but this game has so much potential, and I think it's massively affected by just how terrible the gameplay is. The game again looks amazing. The gameplay is really bad, and there's little things like this that just bother me that I wish were were fixed. Again, I'm not working on this game, so I'm just criticizing just based on what's there. But hey, you put something out, you're letting yourself get criticized all over the place. So anyway, um, the UI is controlled by the love stick. So you're using a cursor, kind of like Destiny. Again, I have no issue with that. Some people will make a big deal about that kind of UI. Whatever. I have no problem with that. Just make it work with a controller, for God's sake. I mean, look at this. It's so slow and sluggish and again going back to the adjustment um you know let me go down here because he actually says here uh key button assignments cannot currently be reconfigured but feature will be made of and then it's cut off so again these are just little tiny things that again personally as a developer i kind of understand overlooking some of these kinds of things but i personally just take things out instead of leaving them there to kind of bring more of that criticism to it right because now it's like oh well people want that and then you see that it's kind of like cut off and it's it's just bad presentation i feel um anyway so here's the thing i'm trying to go up and it just takes forever and i had to bring the adjustment the view adjustment for the right stick so low that when you're playing the game it's just uh, uh, it's just really bad. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is just go ahead and start, um, I guess, a continue plus uh, second run for uh, the game. I'm hoping it starts me off from the very beginning so that you guys can see 
Uh, this has actually just worked out perfectly because I had just finished it right before I started streaming this. Uh, one thing I'm going to show really quick, though. They added these new costumes. So uh, you could do the original uh, Sheila, I would say. Sheila? Shelia? I don't know. Um, and this is kind of... Um, or actually, I don't think this is oh well like original Sheila. Uh, the original character, I think, is... Uh, what is it? Yeah, so I think this is a, a normal character. So she's got more like futuristic stuff. You've got that kind of gauntlet, which you'll see in a bit when the game plays. Um, then you get switched to Ponytail, uh, which I think still has, yeah, similar just, uh, you know, school uniform kind of thing. And then uh, that version, which actually that looks a lot like uh, Oni Chambada like one of the characters from Money Chambada. So I played through with school uniform, so let's go ahead and just do this. You rarely see your, your character in game. It's only in kind of those cutscenes that happen all random. So anyway, I'll just choose that and then uh, we will go to continue. So let's see how this goes. Again, the gameplay like has some massive potential, but if the focus is gonna be on graphics and all that kind of stuff, Man, I, I really, really hope that changes because currently in its current state, this game is just not fun to play. Two worlds even though are you do see the the, like the cool uh, the coolness factor that could For be there. One to survive, the other must be sacrificed. <laughs> So yeah, also the uh, SRO stands for like super secret, supernatural, super secret research observatory or something, which is kind of like you're missing a nest there, man. If Have you found anything? So again, cool concept, Just cool idea, decoy. graphics, fantastic. Nothing else um, that I can see. Roger that. I'm it on just, my way. Who it is. Keep in touch. Uh, the, the controls are just bad, uh, and the UI again. One guy doing this, I know. So they're kind of like, uh, uh, you know, that UI stays. This is what I was talking about when I when I saw uh, the Xbox Series X reveal or whatever, and they showed this. The UI on the gun is what instantly gave it away, and I knew what game it was. Um, so anyway, yeah, that UI should should go away um, after hanging out for a bit. The thing is, it's always there, and it's a little weird. So yeah, it is just gonna run through. Shelia, an unidentified it is unit Shelia. is heading toward okay. the laboratory. See, so this is what I was talking so about with the, the sticks. There may still is be time. I, if I make it any faster than this, it just becomes uncontrollable. So I kind of have to leave it at this just so I can play it correctly. Um, otherwise, it's just it's huh? really bad. No way. Long time no see, Shelly. Carter, why are you? I Voice acting you is really bad too. Wake was as stubborn as you are. What Alan the hell Wake? happened here? <sighs> I'd forgotten about this early part of the game. Because again, I, I played it when it released from Early Access, like back in March. And then I just finished it today uh, before doing this stream just to get an idea of what the, the later game and how long it actually was. Um, I had no idea it was going to be um, about an hour long. Um, but again, yeah, see like this. like I mean, dude's obviously super proud of the the character modeling and all that kind of stuff he's done because he, it, it zooms in like that a lot. Um, again, nothing wrong with that. It's, it's cool. Uh, if I were able to make character models like that, hell, I would be, I would be doing that as well. Um, 
but yeah. Let's see. Where am I? How amazing! I'm actually not a not a big fan of that character. Character skin. Could this be the floating island hidden at the North Pole? So let's see. Oh, I guess it just yeah. What's that light? It's the light from the lab. I'll go check it out. It looks like someone used to like. It's like here. online. Like why? What? The, just that UI just seems like like too much. Uh. Okay, so there's a dash mechanic, and you know how I'm always kind of pointing out dash mechanics are cool. So here's the thing you can only dash left and right. Um, and again, with the controls the way they are, uh, with having to use, like, again, I could use keyboard and mouse keyboard, but it's terrible. Uh, I can't, I can dash backwards, but I can't dash forwards. I'll show you that upgrade system in a bit because there is an upgrade system to your character. Um, a lot of the AI seems to be really bad as well. And, oh, that's right, the uh, hit detection on the enemy hitting you uh, does not seem fair at all. It seems like it's, uh, yeah, the enemies can keep attacking you even after they, they die. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's where it teaches you dodge. got a cool soundtrack though so the way I found out about this game originally was um, it just popped up on my Steam uh, page like it said hey you played Doom Eternal um, try this game out and I was like all right I mean I saw the trailer like anyone else would uh, the pages that were or the uh, videos that are on Steam that show you what the game's like or whatever so uh, but then I got in, and I was like, well, the game looks good, but the game plays terribly. So. Uh, again, though, if this comes out on the Xbox Series X, like, I really hope this focuses more on the gameplay instead of the graphics. Because this game could look like this. I don't care. It doesn't need to look fantastic. And even then, it still kind of does, right? It's just... Focus on the gameplay, man. And this is one of those re reasons why I can't see this uh, as uh, one man making this game. Because it, it, it feels that way. It feels like, like a dude who's like, alright, I got the game to look the way I want it to. Um, or I got, I got like a basic mechanic uh, gameplay loop that people can play is that an um, it looks like and now I can just focus light. on what it looks like so I feel like it suffers from that a bit um, I'm not sure I don't remember if the game forces you to do the update thing so let me see if I can do it now so you do get this kind of upgrade upgrade skill system type thing so you've got power um, oh actually okay so this is one of the things that as I was playing the game earlier um, since this is kind of like a second run, it does actually keep my power-ups from my last run. Um, so, uh, let's see. I don't want this. Increased XP. What are my skills? Time freeze sounds like a good one. Uh, lightning. Sounds kind of cool. Oh, that's right. Okay, I don't have enough yet. And then latency. It's this. Okay, cool. Uh, well then, let's just keep uh, powering up. Again, this this game's not long, so. Okay, so this is where they're gonna show me how to do the. the So you do get a grapple, and this is kind of weird that 
but like I don't understand what the point of that the is. Entrance to a cave. Uh, to get you to kind of do a. Uh, like to have a timer on jumping off of the. Yeah, I don't know. It just there's a lot of weird choices this dude made in this game. All these soldiers' remains. What happened here? So I'm gonna have to figure out this uh, puzzle. You get these kind of like power ups. Um, but again, the dash is only. Gamepad, this is just un I just can't control it because enjoy it basically because I have to keep turning around like that. They came back? So they really have to start so slow after a dash. It's not in Doom where you where you dash and you turn around instantly and you're just floating everywhere. Like again, super potential for this game. See if I can remember this stupid puzzle. Um, yeah. Again, one <sighs> dude made down. this game impressive, but sure. How do I get out of here? Fun, man. I really hope he the can murals fix this. on the wall must be connected to these symbols on the ground. All right, so let me see. Yeah, you gotta line up the. Uh, These symbols on the rotating disc must be the key. How does this work? Seems about right.
Is that not right? I thought that was the whole point. That sucks. So you have to be super perfect with that, huh? That's weird. Uh, save for the hell of it. Well, actually, let me make sure. It saved it. God, this movement is so slow. Alright. Oh. dark in here. I need to turn on my flashlight. Okay, cool. So let's unlock some skills now. So time freeze seemed pretty good uh, because... Yeah, let's do that one because uh, these enemies that you fight uh, are like even like this. Like a stupid snake. What the hell, man? Also, oh, that's right. I forgot about the bonfire thing. So, you got to do this thing where you get to bonfires. I think it's uh, it's the dude's like just love of is maybe Dark Souls Carter's or something. Man? But that bonfire it being like lit beam, uh, is I have to hurry and catch very, up. very. I think it's even using the exact. Uh, it's using the exact uh, font and everything from. Uh, Dark Souls, and I, I seriously doubt that dude's going to be able to keep that in the final game. This flashbang is wearing off. Focus fire. Hurry up. See, like, this is a moment where, like, the gameplay should shine, and it so fucking doesn't. Like, I don't even let Doom get away with this. Like you I can't turn the fuck around. At least that see this is this is the only reason why I wanted that time freeze, because I was like, it'll let me get away with dealing with some of the shitty gameplay moments. It's just bad. It's just bad. Like, I don't understand the decision to not allow you to straight or to uh, dash forward. Um, since you can't remap the buttons, I honestly would have just remapped it to left trigger. Uh, leaving it on B feels pretty bad. The hit detection on that, like I said, is... This cave is about to collapse. I have to uh, find a way out. There's just so much I want to like about this game. Um, grappling hook. Who wouldn't want a grappling hook in a video game?
correctly. Let's do this real quick because I do not like that character. Uh, let's go home screen. The UI is over uh, superimposed on itself, which is pretty bad. I really hope they fix these things, man. Look at this sluggish. All I'm trying to do is get down to this down here. Let's see which character it was I was using. I think it was that one. Um, uh, back. It is pretty snappy uh, with the whole idea of the Xbox One X or Series X having super fast load times and everything like this kind of stuff should just get done with so he'll have to find another way to show his modeling skills the teleporter in the lab is still on so what I'll do in a bit is um, before I'll before I end this I definitely want to try the ray tracing version uh, just to see if there's any real big Charging my keyboard and mouse, which is one of the main reasons why I'm not using keyboard and mouse right now. Um, also, I'm one of those crazy guys that thinks, or that not that thinks, but that feels hella more comfortable on a gamepad for first-person shooters. I know, I know. Okay, so here we go. This is the bonfire thing I was talking about. I still don't know if this will actually be a thing in the final game. But uh, people who are familiar with the Dark Souls games will immediately recognize this. Let's see. So, okay, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade some skills here since I unlocked some stuff. Uh, what is latency? Re release limit. Increases attack damage and floats all enemies for a set time. Uh, light force field, AOE damage on enemies. Yep, definitely doing that one. Okay. Let's get out of here. This looks like a secret passage. <laughs> the water droplets on the on the uh, camera, like. Yeah, man. This is some, uh... The reaction is growing more and more intense. Straight up doing stuff. Is this... Okay, the lost so... Forest the doctor I'm, like, halfway done. A person? Uh, this was the last thing I, I left a bad off feeling. On. That's a total Dark Souls reference, man. Oh, God. All right, guys, I got to call the stream here real quick.